Dronacharya is known to be the the guru of all the Pandavas and the Kauravas. Dronacharya is the son of Maharshi Bharadwaj. Dronacharya married Maharshi Kripacharya's sister. Sister. Dronacharya had a son named Ashwatthama who also plays a major role in Mahabharata. Dronacharya Dronacharya when was young and was in his guru's ashram he had his his best friend was Prince Drupad. Prince Drupad is from Pan, is from Panch is the prince of Panchal kingdom and the crown and was going to be the crown prince of Panchal. And one day after Dronacharya grew up, he had his own son. One day his son asked for milk. And then uh, we, Dronacharya went <coughs> knew that <clears throat> he thought that he'd go to his best friend Drupad and ask him for a cow. Before, Drupad had promised him that he would give him half the kingdom. But Drupad humiliated Dronacharya before all his court because he thought Dronacharya came to ask for the half kingdom as Dronacharya was already very poor. Feeling very humiliated, Dronacharya went back home. There, on the way, he saw the Pandavas and the Kauravas playing with the ball. And then, suddenly, it went into a well. They got very, they were all of them were trying to get the ball. Dronacharya laughed and said, You, you, the Pandavas and the Kauravas, can't even get a ball out of a well. Okay, I'll get your ball. But then what will you do? Yudhishta came and said that we will give you a feast. Dronacharya laughed and then, and then he, he said, he took a few you know, hay, and then hit them on the ball. They got linked to the ball and it came straight and it became a rope of hay. With that, he he took the ball, he took the ball with the help of that hay rope. And then, while trying to get the ball, Yudhishthira's ring fell down into, into this well. So then Dronacharya and then Dronacharya just took <clears throat> a little of cow dung, put in it, put it and then <clears throat> he put a little of cow dung on it. When the cow dung got before the cow dung got dried, he put after the cow dung got dried, he threw an arrow which came back and in the end of the cow dung, Yudhishthara's ring was there. Seeing this, Bhishma was very happy. He asked that that would Dronacharya teach the Kauravas and the Pandavas, his grandchildren. Dronacharya agreed happily, but then he asked a cow. Everyone were happy. Arjuna was especially great in archery. One day, Bhima was eating in the night. Arj uh, because the lamps were out, Arjuna came seeing what happened. And then he saw Bhima there eating. He asked Bhima, Bhima, why, uh, how are you eating at night? How can you see at night? For that, Bhima replied carelessly. I practice eating. That's why I can eat wherever I want, whenever I want. Arjuna took this word seriously and started and started to learn archery in the night, in the dark, and also 
and also when this <clears throat> when with left hand and right hand this continued for a while and then once dronacharya put a test to everyone he put a wooden bird on a high tree he asked everyone what can you see there he asked them to throw a arrow just near the bird the bird's eye he first of all he asked yudhishthira what can you see there yudhishthira replied i can see i can see all my brothers my cousins you the tree the bird and then he asked everyone the same question everyone answered the same at last arjuna came he asked the same question to arjuna and you know go what was his answer yes his answer was that i saw i can only see the eye of the bird dronacharya was very pleased he said shoot and and then when arjuna shot it fell correctly in the middle of the bird wooden bird's eye every uh, dronacharya was pleased and then as a guru dakshina dronacharya asked everyone that he that he wanted to bring drupa uh, raja drupad alive first the koravas went very very over enthusiastic and over confident but they failed and then the pandavas went they capture um, arjuna alone ca- uh, hit everyone and then captured drupada and then came back drupada was already very red with anger and humiliation and then dronacharya said i'll take the southern part of your kingdom and i leave you as a free man go and rule your kingdom that day i didn't ask you for kingdom i only came to ask you for a cow saying so dronacharya left him spent a time with him and then made him go to panchal to rule his kingdom Drupada felt very humiliated but he also liked the daring of Arjuna and he wanted a daughter and a daughter who would marry Arjuna and a son who would kill Dronacharya Arjuna and then out of fire were born when he played the lord out of fire were born two children Drupadi and <coughs> and dhritarashtra moon both of them play a very important role in the mahabharata this is the end of dronacharya lesson